So let me show you this little power innovation I have for camping. You see those two lamps? They're running on electricity. Now if you trace the cords, they run to this power inverter I have. Right there underneath of it, kind of behind it, that's a 12 volt voltmeter. Can't really see it very well. And a set of cigarette lighter sockets. Now this is all mounted to a battery case. If you open the battery case, there's basically a 12 volt deep cycle battery in there that has the advantage of having cranking amps as well. It's like a, I forget what they call it, it's like a, oh, I forget what kind of thing you call it. It's a deep discharge battery that has good cranking amps. Best of both worlds. I read online about batteries. Basically, and then there's this. Now I want to emphasize this I built first take camping for power. The problem we encountered was charging it while we were out there. It drained fairly quickly and then charging, we, what we, we just did it on the fly by starting people's cars and hooking it up to the, hooking up the battery using jumper cables and letting the car idle for a while. That wasn't really a good solution, but I will say this here, only did, it did only cost me, I don't know, $150 in parts to build maybe. So and that included the inverter and everything else there. I didn't think I could get me a decently cheap generator, and then I went on eBay and found this little beauty. This is a Coleman CM04101 1000 watt generator. Basically, two cycle engine, two stroke, whatever you want to call it. Takes a fuel gas mixture of 40 to 1, or a fuel, a gas oil mixture, mixture of 40 to 1. It's got a little, can't tell, it's got a little gas gauge here to tell you how full the tank is. And this thing will get run a ton camping. We'll take this camping, and it came with this little thing here. This is a, I want to show you the front of this generator has, well, standard 120 volt socket. Right above it, it's got a weird looking socket. Uh, that weird looking socket is made for this cable here. Basically, you plug it up, and you got clamps. Clamp it to the battery. Let me set the camera down and do it here. Yeah, it's probably not gonna show it very well. Well, maybe it will. Let me... I got these posts marked in a way that I know. Basically, we hook that to that post, hook that to this post. That's positive and negative posts. Negative here, positive here. I got my own rigged up wiring system that, that you see this white tape this means positive black is negative anyway but basically if we were camping right now we'd run everything off of this use this to charge it this runs eight solid hours on one tank of gas which is about a gallon and i'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it so that i drain this any but basically this is a 410 watt power inverter. We run everything directly off of this inverter. How do we keep this from getting wet? Through the magical utility called black garbage bag that we wrap this in. And we set this next to it and run it with the cables connected to charge this. And we're able to run a couple of lights while we're camping. Maybe a little boom box or something like that. Uh, these light bulbs that Oh, let me turn this, show you here, you probably, that's these, uh, I don't know what they're called, but basically they're uh, fluorescent bulbs. My electric company will send them to me for free every so often. We'll pack a two that's 100 watt equivalent, only uses 23 watts. Uh, we rig it up to some light sockets that look like this. These are available at any utility store, Walmart, whatever. You know, they, these clamp right here to a tree. And then we just run the cords to the extension cords, which run to the inverter. The generator used to charge it all. You see, that takes the heart out of camping, though. You go to civilization, you go to camping to avoid civilization, get away from electricity. No, we've been camping for years. And where we go camping, if you don't take stuff with you, you don't have it when you're out there. We don't, 
There's no luxuries out there. There's nothing out there. Nothing at all whatsoever. You have what you take. You have to be prepared or else you got to drive an hour just to just to get to the nearest Walmart to pick up replacement items. So that's why I don't have propane. I do have propane items, but that's why I don't have a propane uh, uh, lighting system because those parts are not cheap and easy to come by. They are expensive, harder a place, especially when you're out in the middle of the woods. But light bulbs are cheap enough and they always bring us a couple extra. And this is what you call camping electricity. We do tent camping, and this is what this is how we power it. it runs great. I have sleep apnea. I take my CPAP machine with me, and it means I can use my CPAP machine, hook it to my nose at night, and I get good quality sleep even when I'm camping. So, running the advantages of running it straight to this are at six in the morning. This thing cuts off. This will still crank out juice for a few more hours till it's dead. I'll wake up at 10, 11 o'clock in the morning. You know, I don't usually sleep that late, but just as an example, if I wake up at 10 or 11 in the morning, uh, you know, five hours, six hours after this thing is, after the uh, generator is cut off, this thing will still be cranking out enough electricity to run my CPAP machine. And this is some good stuff here, man. I built this before I bought this. If I'd known at the time I could have gotten a generator for this generator for the price. This thing is $159 and free shipping on eBay. You notice it is Coleman name brand. I will say that Coleman does not make this generator. They directly, they don't, they don't manufacture it. You go to Coleman's website, you won't find it. This has been manufactured by some other company. I don't remember who, but they've licensed the Coleman name brand. And for, this thing has paid for itself uh, in terms of when our electricity has gone out, we've been able to run I've been able to run some things off of it, a couple of lights, my aquarium. Uh, you know, we've got an older person here who runs an oxygen machine. You know, stuff like that. Even though they got portable oxygen tanks, we still just sort of run it off the generator out on the porch. And it works out pretty good. You know, we go camping. This thing here will be run for multiple hours a day and provides enough electricity for what for the few things that we take out there. So that are electric. Mainly some lights. If we're sitting in the tent, waiting out some rain for a good seven, eight hours, you know, at a time or something, which is common, uh, where we go camping, it rains a lot, then we'll sit there and just run uh, extension cords into the tents. You know, people can charge their, you know, their, their, I, their, their iPods, and watch whatever they've got. They can listen to their MP3 players, read a book, have enough light to read a book by in their tent with real, a real actual light bulb that cranks out a ton of light. Uh, you know, so stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. That's what I call camping innovation right here. I'm proud of this thing here, man. This thing took me, this thing right here took me about 10 or 12 hours to put together and get it set up right. It may not look professional. All that stuff just sort of attached to the surface, but it's about as professional as I can make it. And then this thing here, we bought for the next camping trip. And this thing works hand in hand with this, so you know, basically does what we need to do. There's been one time that we've actually drained this battery faster than this thing could actually keep it charged. And when that happened, we just went over there and unplugged the power cord from here, turned off the inverter. Plugged it straight into the front of the generator, into that AC socket, ran everything right off the generator. Left this cord connected to here and charged the battery. You know, used it to charge the battery. So that's pretty much it. Camping innovations. This thing here will save your life. Especially if your power goes out. Hint, hint, San Diego. If your power goes out, this will save your life. Alright, that's pretty much it. Bye.